so what the project is for this one is to make some stoppers that actually um, right, will fit into the bolt holes as part of the right the milling machine base, which normally would bolt in, you know, you put bolts through to the concrete. But as we're not using that, and we're not bolting it through to the concrete, so what we're going to do is just do a measurement here. So, so what we do now is just with the outside dividers, you know, we just take that measurement off there and we're just a fraction over 18 mil, about 18.5 mil. All right, so just working out the um, dimensions for the plugs. Now, these will be made out of acetyl plastic and you can see the dimensions there. Um, right, the outside is 30 millimeter. Um, we're gonna have a top of five millimeter the internal length is 20 and the internal diameter of the bore is about 18.5. So what we're doing is just cutting these to 30 mil. So what we're doing now is we're just going to set these up in the lathe and face each end off and I'll do that for the whole four of them. So what we're going to do is put a space block in. Um, this is just a piece of machined aluminium, which we're using as our spacer out from the, the face of the chuck. We tighten that up. That's just giving us a consistent spacing behind right the block that we're going to be machining. So what we're going to do now is just line it up. So we set it up that we're taking about a millimetre cut each time. And we've got a right to stop here, so it keeps coming back to the same point, so we don't have to worry about that. And away we go. I keep stopping every now and then just to break the plastic, otherwise it's going to a bird's nest. As you can see, we'll get to the stop wind back out, take it in another mill, and then it'll be rinse and repeat until we get down to about 18 mil. That's half a mil, one mil.
just for a sanity check to make sure that we're where we should be. And we're reading exactly 21 mil diameter. We've got to take it down to 18, so that lets me know how many more cuts we've got to do. So I'll just check again. Um, now I've already done one more cut after the last one, and we're just checking. And that's brought us down to 20, which is exactly one mil. So what we're dialing in here is what we're getting there. So we'll go down to our next cut. So what we're doing here is we just turn them around, uh, we're just going to face off the right the top of them and bring that down to 5mm and then um, and then just round off that edge again. So what I've done is reset the stop so we come in to our 5mm so you can see there that that's as far as we can come in and come in there. off, wind it out, and I'm bringing it in two divisions each time. As we mentioned before, there are four of these securing bolt hole positions um, on the actual mill itself. And the problem we had, when we're having, was swarf getting down into the holes and then making its way under the mill itself. So we just put this little cover on, and hopefully, or plugs, and hopefully that will unresolve the issues.